What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Google Pixel 6 Pro and today we're back with the official case. This is going to be that clear case, that clear white that's really designed to complement that clearly white, whatever they want to call it perfectly now we're going to check it out i've done the review for the the black version or the smoke color version it was pretty good had a couple little issues with it just be in terms of overall build and not feeling quite around the actual um body of the phone itself because it's a curved screen i felt like a kind of a like a little creaky feel to it around the edges but we'll check that out to see if maybe that was a one-time issue with another uh case that i got from google so this presentation looks good i think this is gonna run you 30 bucks the official case um, looks good, good enough at least. Let's go and get right to the unboxing to see if it's a hit or miss. Got a little tab up top. Thought we're gonna have to bust out the trusty unboxing knife. Does anybody miss the uh, the fabric cases? Did anybody like those? Or I'm not sure. I kind of I always thought I liked them, and then after a few days' use, I kind of just stopped using them because I didn't. And there was something about it that it just didn't feel quite nice in the hands i don't know if that's probably the best word in terms of overall everyday use it just didn't feel comfortable enough compared to some of the other cases that i used to get for the pixel series but that may be just me let's go and take out that beautiful white that panda wipe it down wipe it down like we do clean it up for the camera shine it real nice beautiful you can see the case itself got the clear cases basically crystal clear case and i should say that's not crystal clear this is more of a uh, off, off, off clear color. It's more of a frosted. I think frosted is probably the way to look. This is a frosted case. So you get the benefits of a clear case. So you can still see the back of it, but you're not getting some of the negatives. You're not getting the fingerprints and you're not going to see that just a little piece of dirt dust on the back of the phone. And, and it's going to drive you nuts. You guys know what I'm talking about. You'll be at work with that crystal clear case from whatever. And you see that piece of dirt or lint on there and you have to take out the microfiber cloth. You're at work, you wipe it down, wipe it down, you put it back in, and then a couple minutes later, you'll see something else. That just may be me, and maybe the OCD kicking in. It is what it is. That's why you guys follow the Big Unbox channel. We try to keep it real with you guys. Very cool. Look at that. That is a nice look to it. Definitely kind of mutes the white a little bit, so it mutes the gloss factor. But then you can still see the panda, that black up top. Looks very, very cool. like the way that looks. The G popping through. Definitely like the way this one looks better than the black one. Nice grip to it. Camera protection. They did a good job. Now, one thing I'm not a huge fan, I think they could have brought the camera in just a little bit right there. You guys see how it's dipped in so low? They could have brought that up just a little bit, and that would give you just a little extra camera protection on the sides. And I think the case that I just pulled off it, which I threw... Damn, that's sometimes I just throw these cases around. It actually had a little more protection. That's what I'm going to show you. Sometimes I just toss these bad boys. But it's decent enough. You can see the bridge right there. Kind of like right there. That's the bridge around the camera hump. Let's go and check out the lip. Because everybody likes a fat lip, lip protection. Not much to talk about. You got some lipage right there on the top. Bottom. Nothing on the sides because of the curved screen. Nothing we can do about it, guys. Uh, nothing on the sides. It does have a nice grip to it. Speaker looks good. Power looks good. The cutouts look awesome. Uh, buttons. Yeah, they feel okay. They're not the best buttons in the world. They're not going to win the award, but I, they are clicky. They just require a little more push. and not They're not bad at all, but I would say I would like just a maybe a little more cushiony feel. In terms of overall, when I was talking about with the actual creaky feel, there's just a little bit right there. Not actually, it feels a lot better than it did on the other one that I had. But right, the ash part right there, it's a little bit loose. You see right there, just there's like a little bit of gap right there, and just a little bit of loose. I think that's where they actually had the cutout for the actual uh, volume up and down and power, where it just makes it a little bit loose. And that's just me. It's just one of those things when I'm holding the phone, I can kind of feel it. Not end of the world. It's not going to make or break this one, but that's just one of the small little gripes that I have with this particular case. But overall, it's the official case. It looks beautiful. Probably decent enough protection for me to go out and say, yeah, I would recommend this. It's going to make your pixel, you know, it's going to give you protection. It's going to make your pixel look good. And it's going to be that G popping through. So it really just makes it. Uh, and actually it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit more than a lot of other cases just because it's one of the official ones. So I'm going to call this one a hit. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? We going to hit. You guys hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.